You hear that? You hear that? Labor Day weekend means spending lots of time outside, including that time on the grill. Joining me this morning to talk about some tips for firing up the grill is Todd Reha, the grill master from Longhorn Steakhouse in Auburn Hills. Good morning. Thanks for well, being th out here. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, uh, you got up here really early. What are we talking about in terms of these tips and talking about just tips for grilling, but different types of meat, too, because everyone's going to be grilling everything. Absolutely, and there's there's a lot that can go into it, and some people can be intimidated by grilling. Yeah, and uh, and we're here to make it a little easier for them. Um, we also have a grilling hotline that's going to be available uh, tomorrow, September fourth, okay. yeah. uh, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, you can call us at 1-855 LH Grill or text your questions to um, Grill at um, 55702. Okay. And there'll be somewhere there to answer your question for you. So, I mean, when it comes to grilling, we, we, just, we have steaks, we have chicken. You guys, you guys have steaks. I know for me, the hesitation is how long do I cook it? You know, I don't have one of those thermometers they say that you got to have. So, if you're doing it by eyesight, how do you know when, how long is long enough to where you're not going to get sick if you eat it? Absolutely. Now, depending on how you prefer your steak, now we're, we're going we're gonna to recommend that you flip the steak every three to four minutes. That's going to get nice, even cooking throughout the steak. Um, in most cases, like you said, temperature is the best way to, to tell the doneness of your steak, but we also have a little trick that you can do on your hand. If you just feel the inside of your, your thumb right there, keep your hand loose. That's going to be what about a rare steak is going to feel like. You go to your, your index finger there, that's a medium rare, medium, medium well and well. Wow. And that's a nice little oh. trick, and you just touch the steak, and you kind of feel it, and then you'll know, know how so much it's done. So, again, for everyone at home, open is rare. Yep. This is medium, medium rare. rare. Medium. Medium. Medium, medium well, well and then well, well done. done yep okay that's cool so that's for steaks so when we're not grilling steaks let's say we're doing some chicken maybe some pork chops what's some tips on those uh with, with chicken you, you definitely want to make sure you cook it to over 165 degrees okay um you, you, for safety purposes obviously and a, and a, and a meat thermometer is going to be the best way to tell that temperature um with, with pork products we recommend 155 degrees okay. uh, for, for doneness on, on a pork product um definitely steak once again Whatever your whatever your preference is. Sure. So when we're talking about also seasonings, what what's the what's the go-to? What's uh, what's the best kind of seasoning for different kind of meat? So we have steaks here. So what do you suggest for uh, steaks? Dry rub. We're talking liquid um, marinade. You, you know, it, it depends on the type of meat you have. If if you're if you're going with a, a nice lean tender cut like like we have here today, um, we're we're going to use a rub. Um, we have our our signature seasoning that we use at the restaurant. But for at home, we just recommend a a mix of pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and kosher salt. It'll give you a nice bold flavor for your steak. And, and when it comes to other meats, what do, we, what, what do you suggest for chicken and maybe even pork? You know what varies? It, it, it depends on, on what you prefer. Uh, we use similar seasonings for our chicken products, one that's more salt and, and, and garlic based. Um, these seasonings have a little bit more pepper in them and spices in them. Sure, perfect. So tomorrow, they'll be able to call in to the hotline. That's yep. one. What, what 855 uh -huh. LH Grill. 1-855-LH-GRILL. And then if they want to email and get some information, how can they do that? They, they can text us, actually. Text at, us, okay. At, uh, text GRILL to 55702, and there'll be someone there to answer your questions. And I noticed that there are people crowding in here. My new cologne is going to be steak, <laughs> a la toilette. Um, I'm going to try one of these bison meatballs. I got to do this. Let's yeah, see. That, that's one of our, one of our seasonal um, items we have right now. It's a bison meatball um, served um, with a cranberry barbecue sauce on top with some white cheddar cheese. Um, we also have over there our, uh, our bourbon bites, which is a, a, a donut served over um, vanilla cream topped with a whiskey, uh, whiskey caramel sauce. And it's called Get Drunk Eating One. Well, you oh. won't necessarily, but hey, do oh, it I first won't? and then, then, then I don't that's a have great one. finish. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I'm going to tell everyone at home so that even the people in the studio here realize that all this is really bad, very bad for you. And I hope that that'll give me more uh, opportunity to eat, right? Absolutely. Right, Todd. Absolutely. Todd, thanks for joining us. Thank you Todd for from uh, Longhorn Steakhouse. We'll have more information for you on our website. Simo?